Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the second grade concept of place value, specifically how we can use place value to generate new numbers. We'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So one thing that we need to know in second grade is how we can take any number. So let's start with a simple number. Let's start with the number 37. How can we make new numbers that are either greater or less than than that number? Well, first we need to understand what this 37 is. This 37 has two digits, a 3 and a 7. And where those digits are sitting makes a big difference. So this 7 is sitting in our 1's place. That's the first digit that we're using when we're writing, the 1's place. So that means we have 7 1's. This 3 is sitting in the 10's place. So that means we have 3 10's. So that's really 30. So 30 and 7, that makes 37. So one thing we can do to make a number that is greater Let's make some numbers that are greater. Is we can increase the ones digit. So if I wanted, I could keep my tens the same. And then I can increase the ones digit. So I need to know what comes after seven. Well, I could say it's 38. Then I can also say it's 39. So those are the two numbers that I can make that are greater than 37 that have the 3 in the tens place. If I wanted to see what is less than 37, well, we could do the same thing. We'll keep the 3 in the tens place and think about all the, the digits that are smaller than 7 in the ones place. So I can write 36, I can write 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, all the way down to 30. Because so I'm just taking my ones digit and I'm making it smaller by 1 each time. But that's not the only way to change numbers and make numbers that are greater than or less than a number. You can also take a look at our second digit. And so one thing we can do is we can take our tens digit and we can increase the tens digit. And we can leave the, se the seven alone, the ones digit. So instead of 37, we can make 47. We could change the four to a five and say 57. We could take our tens digit and just make it larger and larger and larger, and that would be 87, 97. Or we can take our tens digit and make it smaller. So we can say uh, 27, we could say 17. We can even say seven. So when we write seven, we don't really write zero seven, but that's what we mean. So you can make the tens digit just not there as a zero, and you have seven. But normally we don't write the zero, we just write seven. Now, how can we do this if we wanted to change both? Well, if I wanted to change both digits, I'm going to write a little box over here for my greater, a little box over here for my less. You can change both. So in this case, just it needs to have uh, the tens digit and the ones digit. The tens digit needs to be larger than the three. So I can write four. As long as that tens digit is larger than the three, then you can put a ones digit that's smaller. That's fine. Because even though this zero is smaller than seven, I've got four tens and my original number only has three tens. So I can have 40, I can maybe say 53. So even though this three is smaller than the seven, the thing that matters the most is the largest place value. In this case, it's the, the tens digit. And my five tens make 50. That's always gonna be bigger than the three in the tens place, even if the 37 has seven ones, so my 53 only has three ones. Same thing if I wanted to do 62, even though this two is smaller than the seven, that's perfectly fine because my tens digit, which is my largest digit in this number, is much larger. So we can look at the same thing over here. So if I wanted to write, let's say 29, that's gonna be less because my two in the tens place is less than my three in the tens place. So two tens makes 20. This three tens makes 30. So even though I've got nine ones, that's perfectly fine because that's more than the seven ones, but my two tens are always smaller than my three tens. I can do 18 if I wanted to, and that'd be that same thing. My one ten, which is my largest place value, that's what counts. It's smaller than your three tens. So it doesn't matter if this eight is larger than the seven. That's how you make numbers that are larger and smaller. 